This is what mining companies in South Africa have resorted to, trucking coal to ports in order to meet a surge in European demand since the war in Ukraine started. The switch to trucking bypasses the deteriorating rail infrastructure that companies said costs millions of dollars in revenue. Poor maintenance, a lack of spare parts for trains, copper cable theft and vandalism have disrupted state logistics firm Transnet's freight rail services, causing coal and iron ore exports to fall in recent years. Clifford Hallett is the chief operating officer at Kenyan Coal, a joint venture between miner Manar and commodity trader Mercuria. Uh, April, March of, of 2021, uh, we started experiencing issues with Transnet, the availability of the trains, them being able to give us the sufficient amount of trains um, required to move our product from, from the mines, from this mine and the other mines within the Menor group. Trucking coal costs about four times more than rail, according to Hallett. At Kenyan Coal's Kanye Colliery, it takes about 80 trucks, each carrying over 37 tonnes, to replace one average Transnet train, making it unsustainable financially, as well as boosting emissions and clogging roads. Transnet Freight Rail Chief Executive Sizakeli Zemela. We are um, you know, aware that there's been an increase in the number of, tra of uh, trucks, um, of coal trucks now running in, in, into the port, and that's not a good situation. And for me, it's not a good situation for the country, more than anything in terms of the damage to the roads and uh, congestion um, you know, on the roads uh, as well. The record high coal prices means miners can absorb the cost of trucking for now. Demand for coal has shot up since the war in Ukraine started. The EU has announced a ban on Russian coal and mining companies in South Africa say they are fielding calls from European countries looking for imports.